Good evening, everyone. You are in the historic Cape Rock House. The Tabor Opera House in Leadville, Colorado, epitomizes the American West's mining history of rags to riches and riches to rags. The Opera House was built in 1879 by Horace Austin Warner Tabor, one of Colorado's most well-known mining magnates. In Horace Tabor's day, this town, Leadville, was just becoming coming from a, a mining camp into its own as a small city. In the olden days, it, as soon as you moved out west, you built your schoolhouse, you built your town hall. These buildings were built at a time where they were the symbol of civilization. And they were where people came to say, we have arrived as a town and build our community. It was basically for a nice place to bring the fine women in town. The Opera House began its decline from grandeur after the Silver Rush petered out in the late 1800s. Ownership of the Tabor Opera House changed hands, and in 1954, Evelyn Furman, a pioneering Leadville businesswoman, purchased the Opera House from the Elks. Thus began an adventure that she and her family were involved in for 59 years. The city of Leadville purchased the Tabor Opera House about two years ago. It was a, a little bit of a risk, it was a bold move. The Tabor Opera House to me means a pillar of our history, our heritage, but also the momentum of where this community is going. We are really a tight-knit community that values the history, the story of our legacy, of where we came from, but also we like the grit and the components that make Leadville, Leadville and the Tabor Opera House encapsulates that identity perfectly. The City of Leadville, the Tabor Opera House Preservation Foundation, and the Leadville Main Street Program have begun ambitious fundraising for a phased approach to preserving and rehabilitating this three-story historic gem. We recognize that the Tabor Opera House is the poster child and anchor to our community. Because we are a Main Street program, we are able to offer more resources to our larger projects and partnerships like the Tabor Opera House. We really are taking care of this beautiful building and to build that excitement. I see this beautiful, amazing building as the future heart of our community, a place where community can come together, where artists can come together, where we can have weddings and quinceaneras and high culture, and a low fun rollicking culture all in the same building. I mean, we have three floors. That's three different kinds of things that could eventually be happening simultaneously. Part of our mission here is also uh, not just the rehabilitation, but the protection of the structure until it can be rehabilitated. So um, we've just done some work on our roof. Our brickwork is in really bad shape, and that's our phase one on two sides of the envelope of this building. Meanwhile, as preservation efforts increase in momentum, the Tabor Opera House Preservation Foundation continues to host a world of music, dance, theater, comedies, and more on the Tabor stage. Oscar Wilde, Harry Houdini, John Philip Sousa and Buffalo Bill were among the famous entertainers and speakers who performed at the Tabor Opera House. And now with efforts to bring this opera house into the future as a culture and community center open year round, Leadville and the Opera House will make new history. This place matters. Frankly, it takes partnerships, money, and commitment. Oh, we are very needy here, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> We're finding out new needs all the time. I've become shameless asking people to help the Tabor. I need an army of volunteers. I need eight to ten million dollars. There is no effort or donation that is too small when considering the monumental task that lies ahead. What can you offer the Tabor Opera House Rehabilitation Project?